Please, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold. Please hold. It's my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. All right, everybody, I got to break down this pork butt, pork shoulder. Let me read what it is. Yeah, I can't read that. Anyways, had somebody today question the viability and the usefulness of the Spada XL. And I'm not going to mention any names. Don't you dox them. I'm just going to let them know. This happens again. We're coming after you. I'm just saying, it's a culture we're living in. All right, so when it's, I got to break this down. I'm going to cook it up like I do my brisket, so it'll cook a little bit quicker and and get that meat out. I'm not going to do anything crazy like chopping it like a madman because there's a bone over here. I want to mess up my espada, so I'm just going to. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I lied. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is like a flick of the wrist. Y'all want to see some more? I know you do. I just right turn it sideways. I got really got to make sure to stay away from the bone. Let's see. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh yeah, let's just mess this up. Oh, 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 shit. All right. <laughs> now we're done with that. Let's just watch how this thing cuts. Now you're thinking, well, this could be a camp kitchen knife. Look at how this thing just goes through this. It's got that triad lock. So you're not going to have to worry about it <clears throat> breaking on you when you're doing any kind of, you know, whacking into shrubbery or getting kindling or stuff like that. I wouldn't go after any trees with this, but I would go after some wildebeest. <laughs> you can just break it down right there. Oh, I found the bone. All right, got to work around that bone. So I'm going to just leave that there. Leave that open like that. And leave that there. This one will help it cook. You know, help get crusty and it'll help it not have to cook for, you know, uh, because what you're going to do with this is break it down anyways. Let's just leave that fat there. Maybe cut into that so we can get some spices and stuff in there. But it's going to help it cook and you're going to be breaking it down into pulled pork or chopped pork, whatever you're going to do with it. Yeah, that's going to be great. All right, so. Just one thing you can do with your Spot XL. Excellent, excellent in the kitchen. I don't even remember that tiger claw messed up when I cut into that bone that one time a long time ago. All right, so there you go. The Spot XL, a real beast, but it can be useful. Like I told the guy, it's comically humongous, but it's super useful. It's not just something that's gonna break. It's not just something that's large for the sake of being large. It really does have a lot of uses. All right, talk to you later.